District, Washington, D.C. I'm Blake Suniga with our so-called experts, Brian Danifatini and Tim Swartz. We're glad you could join us for this matchup. And anytime these teams get together, the atmosphere is intense. So this is as good as a rivalry as we have in the WNBA. Yeah, there is a special energy in the building tonight. You just get the sense that something memorable is about to happen. Well, it usually does this matchup. These teams bring the best out of each other. Oh. So the whistle just oh. gets on a shot. Two free throws from the contact there. Not afraid to walk and bruise down low. Parker is fearless Shoot around the rim. Before the 2021 season, the dream had an ownership change. A welcome, fresh start for Atlanta. And interestingly enough, an ex-player is part of the new ownership group in Atlanta. Yeah, that's something I'd like to see more of going forward. Former players getting a chance to own teams. I think it'll help the communication between the current roster and management. Now here's McDonald. Parker. Foul call that time on the way out. And Parker is an intelligent player. Someone that plays to their strengths very well. And she makes both free throws. Well, you look back at the 2019 Mystics team, and they certainly etched their place in history with the WNBA title. The first Washington team to win it all. It all came to fruition after they had a league-best 26-8 record in the regular season. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass up. To the paint. Here's Coffey. The offensive rebound. Pass to Parker. Finally, they hit one. That's just fundamental basketball from Kyle. Nice job spotting the open teammate. That 2019 Washington team was dominant, setting a losing record for offensive Just about 116 points per 100 possessions, a scoring machine that led the league in shooting. And on the individual side of things, Elena Deladon, MVP, back in 2019 as well. A shot by Parker, no good. Mystics on offense. Six point game. Atkins. <laughs> Turning opponents with a steady, calculated approach. Atkins is an impressive young talent that can stay in control and doesn't rush things offensively. Deladon outside. And the Mystics hit again for the lead. They made one bucket after another since the game this game started. I wonder if this is the early stages of a blowout. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. I wouldn't go that far, but it has been pretty ugly so far. Smart play. She turned what uh, really would have been a tough shot for her into an easy one for a teammate with that assist. And a for Washington. We are doing some damage from downtown guys. Which is the main reason they're sitting on this huge early lead. What should it? This is an aerial display for me on the arc. Ray, Parker, Shakira Austin with the block. Well, her teammates are coaches love it. Austin, big time rejection. Back to Cloud. Atkins, defended by Coffin. And aerial Atkins in for three. Atlanta calls timeout. Looking back at the Atlanta franchise, they had an incredible run from 2010 to 2013, making the WNBA Finals three times in four seasons. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Here's McDonald. Shakira Austin with the block. They get it back. Show you. Nice. We've got to see it twice. How about that mobile one drive? 
Well, it's all about breaking the paint, whether it's creating for a team or themselves. Puts her awareness on full display. Sykes knew exactly how much time she had for the catch and shoot. Outside dirt. Pass to Coffey. A shot from the low post. She is good. So she caught a glimpse of the open player on the perimeter and sent the pass right over. Now Cloud. Outside Atkins. That one's good. And so it's a tough to call the rest of the list. Can they make some sort of defensive adjustment? Because guess what? She is killing them from three-point range. And even when they have closed out on her, on her three-point shot. When Sykes can consistently stretch the floor, it's over for opposing defenses. Now here's Durr. To the inside. Yeah. The basket by Parker. You can always depend on her to put that lead pass Durr. right on the money. Not top, Deladon. Pass to Atkins. Let's go with a three. And a number three for Warden. So funny. And I mean, Nobody will outwork Ariel Atkins. She's passionate about the game and genuinely wants to do well. From deep three-point range, here's Deladon. And the buzzer sounds the in the first quarter. We've got a blowout underway here. The Mystics on top, opening a huge gap. And quarter two will get underway just after this short break. First team foul. 
shooting for Atlanta. So she gets them both. And Washington has possession. Well, with how good the Mystics have been lately, it's kind of hard to believe that they've really struggled over the years. From 2003 to 2016, Washington didn't win a single playoff series for 14 straight seasons. Now here's Cloud. She's been patient so far. by Atkins. Pass to Coffee. 11 feet out. And yeah, it's good. Coffee. Off the back of the rim. And Assisted. Despite a lot of losing over the years, Washington still had incredible support. Yeah, you got to give it up for the fans. The Mystics led the league of the first of the season. And of course, those fans have been rewarded. What a run Washington has had of late. A lot of success. It's stolen by Natasha Cloud. And again, up and her options open. Natasha Cloud is surgical in her approach. Outside dirt. Shoots the three. And the rebound goes to the Mystics. And some lost coverage that turned into no coverage. And when she goes like that, you don't see this that sort of look very often. With an unwavering work ethic, Atkins has just about mastered the three ball. Now here's Durr. Pass to Parker. It's good for her Cheyenne fourth bucket Parker. of the game. She's shooting four for eight. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Here's Sykes. That one's good. Remember, she's on the court to do this. Score. Sykes can fill it up once she gets going. Durr. Excellent D there from Ariel Atkins. Well, Shakira Austin grew up in Fredericksburg, Virginia, just a bit south of Washington, D.C. So I imagine she was pretty thrilled to be drafted third overall by the Mystics. Up top, McDonald. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy, because nine times out of ten, that's an easy play. He gets a great one in the ball. This is just unselfish basketball at its finest. You just know that Sykes' teammates appreciate her willingness to share the wealth. Three-pointer, Natasha Cloud. And a third one. They've been the hotter team in the first half so far, guys. Well, they've been grinding, working for those high-percentage shots, and it's been paying off for them. Now, let's see if this success continues to go as we get longer into this game. A shot by Billings, no good. Now, five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Atkins. Here's the three. Knocks down the three ball. And if they continue to dominate, you wonder just how much higher this lead might get. And it really could get out of hand because their defense has been just as excellent as their offense. Great overall game. Parker, good. Cheyenne. Does all the little things that pay off in big ways. Parker is so easy to root for. What a passing display she's putting on. She is spoiling us today. Just another incredible assist from the highlight field. And the reel is getting quite long. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. The Mystics on top, delivering the blowout. And we'll be back right after this. Half. So far, not a tightly contested game, but anything can happen. 
One of the stories here, Atkins getting it done today. She had the magic touch in terms of setting up her teammates, just a pile of assists for her. Which isn't a very common occurrence for her. You know, typically she's more of a finisher, but that's just not the case in this one. And as we begin the second half, first half wasn't even close. And we'll see if there is a comeback on our hands or more of the same as we get the third started. Well, in terms of Atlanta, Cheyenne the Parker. future of this franchise has to be Ryan Howard. Alicia the first Ray. overall pick of the 2022 draft, Howard is a dynamic player. That was a second look at our Mobile One drive. Amazing control on display. Well, even though they're down big here in the second half, Try to close the gap. And uh, now it looks like we've got an injury here, guys. We'll likely see her come out of the game. Boy, uh, that did not look good. Let's hope it's something and not too serious. You've got to feel for her. You I'm can see down. how much stress she's in. I just hope she's okay. Here's McDonald. And the rebound goes to the Mystics. And for the dream, Brian Howard hit the ground running in her rookie season. In her first week in the WNBA, Brian Howard was the rebound player of the week. It 20 years to rip, run the honor Mystics in their opening week. Nice. On the jump, Brian looking like a franchise-level player. First team foul. Now McDonald. Quiet so far offensively, searching for her first points of the game. Left side partner. That's good, and it's Shia Shia Kali Kali. with the assist. So poised on the offensive end of the floor. Parker is a dependable scorer. Sights to the bucket. She's a so good scorer, and when she shoots the ball like she has today, that is what the scoreboard usually looks like. Yep. That goes. Just like the coaches drew it up. He's a hit. He's great. Pass to sight. From outside the arc. And the miss there. Yes. It has been a three-point barrage for them since halftime. Yeah, I don't know if it's been by design or by accident, but either way, it's been impressive. Maybe the, the coach just went up to the locker room chalkboard and just uh, put a number three out there. Pulls up on the wing. They get the rebound. And again, it's a good Well, second chance points are crucial. We know that. So when Zawi B is rebounding like this, her team is just way harder to beat. All right, talking specifically about guards here. Who do you guys think is the best defender in the backcourt? I'm going with Ariel Atkins. She's an all-defensive member in every WNBA season she's played in. And she plays with incredible effort and intelligence on the defensive end. She's a player that never gets tired. Atkins is great, but I'll go with Brittany Sykes. Tremendous length, basketball IQ. Most importantly, every night, Sykes leaves it all out on the floor. Knock loose. McDonald with it. Here's Parker. That shot is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he has made eight while <coughs> only missing four. That's 67% shooting. Pass to Deladon. From deep. An absolute ball from three point range. With a strong work ethic and a desire to improve. Deladon has become one of the league's deadliest shooters. And it's Gray missing. They got lucky. Two minutes. They got lucky. And the defense has taken a big chance leaving her over. Oh, okay with that game plan. What a perfect release that time. I thought it might get blocked, but nope. Yeah, she was giving up a lot of size in that matchup. Excellent ability to get off the long range shot. She is setting this place on fire. Her shooting has been off the charts. After winning the 2019 title of Washington, we didn't see her on the on. She opted out of the 2020 bubble season. Then in 2021, just playing three games. It's stolen by Natasha Cloud. Launches a three. Rebounded by Parker. Pass to Gray. 
Elena Deladon with the rebound. And with Deladon, the league certainly missed her during those two seasons. Elena is one of a handful of franchise cornerstones. Players that are so good that any year when they're healthy, they're in the finals conversation. So it's really good to see Deladon back out there. And the foul called the on the cloud. Cloud. Yeah. That'll be her second foul of the game. Second team in the dream making a change here. Substitution on the court. Down low, Parker, up and in Cheyenne on the way A pass from Robinson gets the ball to a wide-open shooter. Selfless play, pays off with an assist. And here's Ariel Atkins outside, and a great assist by Christian Oliver as that one goes in. It's a one-man show out there, guys. Looks like she's willing to handle all the offensive duties for them. For three, and another three for Washington. It's just cool to see Atkins have fun of playing the game. And I love how she brings great character and personality to her team. And it's Gray missing. Yeah, you watch her. And you see her mechanics are totally out of whack right now. She's lost all feel for her shot. Yeah, and it's not hard to tell. You know, just look at her numbers right now. Nothing is going down for her. A shot by Howard, no good. Sites. Offensive board. Deladon. Again, yeah, a score. A hard-earned bucket. It's so refreshing to see a player like Deladon who never gives up on a play. She just plays with so much fire and action. And as we go to the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Mystics ahead. Just dominating this one. And we're just moments away from the start of quarter number four. Stay with us. A moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Well, this is what being on the, the same page looks like. Fantastic feed and a heads-up play all around. And how can you not be a fan of a sequence like that? This is what beautiful basketball is all about. Yeah, unselfishness, just, just wonderful stuff. And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. Here's Walker Kimbrough. But they'll get another chance. And that one's good. Hockey. Crash the boards with purpose right there. Some hard-earned second-chance points. And call the Washington foul. Christy That's Tolliver. the first foul of the first game. First personal foul, teams first. First team foul. Here's Parker. Banked in off the glass. Cheyenne. They can't afford to give her that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you have to fight over the top of it. And you need some help as well. Now, that is nice. Glad we got a chance to check out that sweet drive one more time. And here's Ariel Atkins outside. Here's Hawkins. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time, and offensive glass getting it done. The dream on offense. Stolen by Hawkins. Oh. And cut the basket. Going to the line for First one more. Foul, well, we know the WNBA playoffs are just one bracket. There's no distinction between West and East. And I love that setup. Some years there's clearly a better conference. In a lot of recent years, the West has been way stronger than the East. Absolutely. You want the best two teams in the finals, regardless of conference. And with this WNBA playoff system, we get that every year. Everything they've put up is falling in, and the score keeps climbing. And that is one demoralized set of defenders out there. Parker with the ball. Now Zowie B defending. And it's Kubai missing. And this has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a very nice job of extending their lead. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. And the Mystics take up again for Shantori Walker. And in your open, Tolliver will find you but it's not really a matter of if, 
but when? Oh, and it's foul. Christy Tolliver is the foul. Tolliver. That's Second foul number two foul. for her. Second team foul. Substitution on the court. Jones covered by Walker Kimbrough. They get it back. Goodbye. The fadeaway. Offensive rebound. Jones. Hillman. And just miss after miss right now. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Here's Hawkins. Off the mark there with the three. And they've been looking at a sink offensively. They need a bucket and a big way here to regain oh, some well, confidence. Goodbye. The plan worked perfectly that possession. Get it inside, get the high percentage shot. Christy Tolliver for three. Here's how we be. Drops in the way for two. Play concrete against contact. Zawi B didn't seem too bothered by the defense there. To the middle from the low block. And that's off the glass and in. Assist goes to Danielle Robinson. And Washington has possession. Christy Tolliver for three. Hands in from downtown. Dialed in the three-point lane here in the fourth. Yeah, and that's just putting it mildly, Tim. I mean, they're putting a world of hurt on their opponent's watching the football. There's no better Chicago time, Ryan, to hit three than the fourth quarter. No foul. The Team next foul first. will put them in the bonus. Third and you foul. know they'll be trying to draw that next one quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the line and get some easy buckets. Danielle Robinson goes in. That shot, no good. And Washington will go the other way with it. Pass to Zowie B. Mystic's rebound. Oh. And she was fouled on the way up. Two throws for her. Hawkins does a sheer contact. In fact, she embraces it on the way up. The inaugural season of the Washington Mystics? Well, that would be 1998, as they were one of two expansion teams in the second season of the WNBA. Jones outside. Hillman. The shot that time, not on target. Amanda B with the defensive effort. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now for this fourth quarter. Connects for three-point range. And for the 98 Mystics, basketball-wise, there's no way around it. They struggle. Yeah, they went a league worse three and 27. However, you know, the legacy of that year for Washington, and way more importantly, the Mystics fans leading the WNBA in attendance building what we've seen to be over the years a fantastic fan base looking to end the run and that hey, one's good Jones. Jones. Assist a very capable Danielle pass for Robinson. Robinson the ball well out of the really either guard position from deep three point range out of bounds it'll go to the green the ball goes to Atlanta away. Stolen by Christy Tolliver. There's the triple. Green with the rebound. To the wing on the left. Here's Jones. Off target from three-point range. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Green's the three-pointer. it up.